Greetings. This is Titanus. I am from the Zhuog. I was not called today, but they have sent me here to speak to you. We are planning our reunion with the Earth at the end of 2025 or the beginning of 2026. So far, that reunion is in stone, meaning that we are still coming, and they have not made any uh, changes to that. When we get to this planet, we will have 10 to 14 days of conversation with the governments of your planet <clears throat> before we show ourselves. But we are coming with a very large group. 15 motherships the size of your Chicago and hundreds of smaller ships. More have joined us since the last time we spoke. The size of small villages. And so there will be many of us here and we will be very anxious to hear what your people have to say and we will be very anxious to understand what is going on with your world. Right now we are still in the Orion area doing trade agreements and things of this nature. Then we will move on to the Pleiades to do more of such work before we come to your planet. So we're not sure the exact time because we don't know how long it will take to do and finish all these trade agreements that we have put upon us and, and to communicate with those that we need to communicate for many different other reasons as well. We are here to serve humanity as well as become part of the neighborhood of humanity. We wish that you would agree and send out energy to this uh, reunion that it would be a positive experience for all. I know that many of you want to have a reunion with us, want us to come to the world, want First Contact to come in a way that it has not come yet to your world, and this is what we are one, wanting as well. So we are directing our thoughts and our prayers to you so that you might pray for your governments to see things in a different way than they have in the past. Your governments are quite afraid and quite fearful of anything coming in from the outside, and that is a destructive way to be. In order for your realm to survive, you must be able to be interactive with the universe, the galaxy, and all the things that are out here. Because without our help, I do not think you will survive. But God says that the prophecies are in your favor. So we're praying that your governments are also in that favorable position and will help to guide and direct your people in a most positive way to see that it is necessary for those of us out here to come to you. There are many different species out here that have been working with you and dealing with you for quite a long time, thousands of years, in fact. And so we, we actually know of you for many thousands and thousands of years. And th there has been life on your planet for that long, more than a hundred thousand, more than a million years. Life has been on your planet, as you already know. But we are looking for this kind of life, the sentient kind, the kind that are rising above all the others, the kind that are needing to manifest uh, into the new realms, into the new neighborhoods, into the new thought processes. We are looking for this kind of sentient life to move forward with us. So pray for your government leaders, pray for each other, pray for us, that we might be able to do the job that we need to do in bringing more freedom to your planet. For it is a, a little bit like a prison planet because they don't allow a lot of things. But it is not the prison planet that is being announced that reincarnation is automatically given unless you have a lot of karma then that will happen, because you need to learn your lessons. But those of you have that have paid off your karma, and that have moved forward in the spirit, 
and have moved forward in thought processes and spiritual uh, beauty and love, you will not be on this planet. You will move forward into new and greater places. But be aware that there are those that are trying to keep you in the darkness. Those that are kind, trying to keep you uh, distracted from what is out here, distracted from the real truth. You have your eyes on your planet. There is many things going on on your world that are very distracting. You need to be really praying to God that he brings a purity to this world, this, this dimension, this density, so that you can be able to see what is here and what is true and what is able to be experienced by your people. This consciousness that you are trying to develop, it's not easy to de develop, but it is necessary to develop because it will give you greater understanding of all things. It will bring a greater insight to all things, not only on this world, but in the next, and in the outer worlds, and in the other dimensions, the other densities. You must understand that you are not meant to be limited by this planet. You must understand that you are not to be limited by the energies of this planet, but you or the or the hierarchy of it. The hierarchy of this planet is low density. You must look to a higher density. Ah, yes. You must also look to be aware of all those around you that can bring you this understanding. Learn from those that are true. Now it's very difficult to know who is true in this density because there's such conflict, there's such convolution in some of the truth. Some of it's true and some of it's not, but the purity of it will come out. The pure truth you will resonate with. If you are in the connection with God that you should be in, you will resolutely know what is the truth and what is not the truth. Keep in mind that some of it is very distracted and very deceptive. So keep yourself as much in the light as you can. And we as the Zhuag will help you to learn more about the universe and the galaxy once we have arrived there.